Hey everybody, uh, I just wanted to give you guys a, a quick tour of our new Sprinter van. Four wheel drive, uh, 144 wheelbase, 2021. Um, yeah, we've, uh, we've invested a lot of time and money into this thing so that it could be super rugged. Um, and we feel like it's a super amazing vehicle. We've taken it off road in Moab quite a bit now. Uh, it's got less than 5,000 miles on it, so uh, we're still getting used to it. But uh, all right, let's let's uh, let's jump right in. Okay, so you'll notice right off that these aren't the stock uh, wheels and tires. We've got black Rhino bandoliers, 16-inch, uh, and then uh, 265, 75, 16 uh, Nokian Outpost ATs. We went with these because uh, they rate a lot better than the BFG KO2s that everybody raves about. Um, they have a little bit thicker tread and they wear longer, which for us that was pretty huge. We went with 16s because the distance between the edge of the rim here and here is going to be bigger than it would be on a 17 or an 18 and we wanted this balloonish type tire to be more uh, supple when we air down to like 25 PSI when we're off-road. So these things are super bomber, we love them. Yeah, let's move on. All right, so up under here, I installed three different skid plates. There's one right up front, there's one in the middle and then one in the rear. This completely covers underneath the engine so that uh, when we hit rocks and we run over stuff and we're like high center it doesn't rub against anything important it just hits these things and these things are like <laughs> incredibly bomber they're like three sixteenths uh, or I'm sorry uh, three eighths inch aluminum and then the front one is uh, like three eighths inch steel so it like will take a beating and then I've also got one over the transfer case in the back, which you probably can't see right here. But um, yeah, it's been a lifesaver for a lot of people, and I thought that would be a great addition to this van. Okay, so another big thing that we wanted to do was create a van that could like handle some off-road, but also still handle really well on like regular concrete roads when we're traveling to the places that we need to get to. And one thing that people do, will they'll put sumo springs, little rubber stops up front, and they're like $100 or something. And that stiffens up the front end, but then the back end will sag. What we did was put three new leaf springs underneath the two that are originally here to stiffen the back end back up. And now that we've added all the weight of the build inside, it changed the ride completely between when it was totally empty versus having the thousands of pounds inside now. So these things really help a ton. I would highly recommend them. We got them from Van Compass as, as we did the uh, skid plates and everything else. So uh, the three leaf springs in the rear will stiffen up the back end and create uh, a drive that's really a comfortable drive and it's rigid around corners and stuff. So yeah, super helpful. Yeah, well, so one thing I wanted to note about this van is its height. It came from the factory with a four inch lift kit on it because it's the four wheel drive VS30 version of the Sprinter. And then we put tires on it that added another inch to it. So it's, it's actually off the ground quite a bit. So you can see I'm standing next to this thing. And for me to step up into this is like thigh height. And I'm not tall, I mean, I, you know, but this is really tall, so we've got some running boards coming from Owl Van that fit down here. We're gonna have another step up into here, but for now, it's a big ass step all the way up into here like this. So I always have to jump down to get out of this thing. <laughs> anyway, let's go inside. All right, one cool feature about this new van that I was not expecting when I bought it is this, watch. Uh-oh. Hold on. Here we go. And just like that, it opens up by itself. Except I didn't, I had it locked. <laughs> so anyway, let's step inside and we'll take a look. All right, 
so what we have here is our galley kitchen. Uh, there's a sink, a really deep sink here, uh, induction cooktop, and then our refrigerator, which I've got kind of turned off now because it's like freaking cold outside anyway and we don't need to use up energy. But uh, it's got a freezer, some ice cubes and stuff. Uh, super great. We went camping and we had our food in here and we'd cook. Wake up in the morning, make some coffee, get back in bed, sip coffee, look at the views, and then, uh, you know, start your day. So um, it really worked out well. So yeah, I'll show you around the rest of the place. All right, so this is the view uh, looking back into the back end of the van. And uh, these things are just our window covers that we got from Quest Overland. I think they're in Oregon, I'm not sure, but they these things are so awesome. They just, they mount right into the window by magnets, so they stick on the windows. It's amazing, and it totally blacks the place out. Like in the middle of the day, it's pitch black in here because these things are so tight. Quest Overland, check them out. Uh, this is the bed, and our van interior was made by Titan Vans in Boulder. Um, super great people. There's like 20-something people that work in this shop. Everybody I've talked to has been kind, which is huge. Like, they're not just businessy or mechanic-y, you know? Uh, nothing against business people or mechanics, but these guys really take the time to listen to your story and uh, your needs and what you want. So we wanted a basic kit in here. We wanted places for storage. So we've got cabinets down here that open up and we got all our tools in here and other things and you know doors that come open and all of our storage is along here. Also the batteries and all of the electrical and all the plumbing is hidden behind these things. Uh, this is the bed. I'll show you how it works. All right, there's two locks up underneath here. Pop that one off and pop this one off. And the whole bed, this platform here across the bottom slides forward. Just like that. And now it's like this, they call it the bi-slide bed. And now this mattress right here comes forward. And these things are in the way, but sits right there. Fits pretty compact. Did you see that dust fly? <laughs> That's from being in Moab. But then we've got a queen size bed right here and we get a view out the back if we want it. And uh, it's, it's perfect. And Carrie and I slept here for I think three or four nights and I'm planning on a trip to um, like uh, Kurt Gowdy up in Wyoming this coming weekend. Uh, I'm looking forward to like sleeping here because it's really comfortable and I actually sleep better on this than I do uh, at home. So <laughs> that tells you anything. It's made with like three different like uh, thicknesses or densities of foam and uh, like I said those guys at Titan Vans they know what they're doing they've uh, they've done this a million times and they do it really well so all right I'm gonna I'll show you how this goes back together again just pop this up push this back and then this piece right here also slides back just like that and then you lock it down again otherwise it'll like you know slide around on you while you're driving and make a big racket but that's it. That's the bed. And uh, tons of storage underneath, too. So I'll bring the camera down here and I'll show you in just a second. All right, so this is underneath the bed here. And you can see we've got, this is, I was telling you, is that the storage, there's, uh, you know, we've got our inverter right here. Um, our batteries down here. And there's room for like two more batteries. Um, and this stuff is like, Super bomber. I mean, this one's held in with magnets and, you know, this is where the water tank is up underneath this thing. Um, holds 25 gallons of water. Carrie and I lived on about 10 gallons uh, for three nights and four days uh, traveling to Moab. And I filled it to 25 gallons, uh, but there's a, there's a gauge here with a light behind it so you can see how much water's in there. And I gauged that I used about 10 gallons because there was, you know, more than half left, like way more than half left. So it's pretty bomber. Like, uh, like I said, this is for storage. We've got tools. I got <laughs> toilet paper, um, all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, diesel fluid, whatever. And then one of the greatest things about this space right here is this L-Track stuff, right? So this is called L-Track. 
you can clip things into this and lock it down. We have another seat that goes in here that locks down for when we have our wedding and, and our couples in here. But it also works incredibly well for everything else. So we bolt bikes back here. As long as you've got the seat lowered, we can fit two bikes back here super comfortably and a lot of gear. Like we carry a big solo stove and a big box full of wood to burn. And, uh, you know, it's been perfect. So, so far, this has been a great vehicle. All right, I'm going to, uh, I'll, I'll show you what the back end of this thing looks like in just a minute. All right, now, this is the back end of the van here. Um, as you can see, it's, it's open right into all that storage with the bikes and everything. And you can buy, like, slide-out trays for bikes and gear and all that kind of stuff. Uh, that might happen later. But for now, like, uh, right here is our shower. You can spray down bikes, clean your feet off, get a, you know, a shower if you wanted to. Um, it's got hot and cold water. This is where you fill the water, right here, just with a hose. Um, you can see up inside here, there's LED lights. I mean, it's kind of bright out right now, but like the LED lights turn off and on over here. That switch. Let me move the camera just a touch. All right, now this is one of my coolest little deals right here. I love this. This is an Agency 6 aluminum uh, shovel and the mount to it. I love this thing. I mean, pops right off. Well, sort of pops right off, but it just unscrews. And look at that. That thing is burly. And it's meant for like digging yourself out if you're like stuck and you're like down in sand or something and you gotta dig yourself out, that's what this is for. And it also works if you've gotta take care of some business out in the woods. All right, so I think that really just is about it. We've got a few more things coming and I'll show you those here. All right, so. On the back of the van, on this side, is going to be our spare tire. It's going to sit right here and the ladder that goes up to the roof so that we can get to our air conditioner and our solar panels and our fan. And then on this side is what's called the Sherpa. And it's a flat panel with a bunch of holes in it that you can mount tons of stuff to. Bikes, boxes, racks, uh, gear, anything. And we're going to have a box on this side and I might mount bikes on top of it, depending on uh, what the configuration ends up on the inside. So, yeah, well, that's really about it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Any questions you have about the van, just ask me in the comments below, and I'll be happy to jump in. So, all right. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel. I'll be doing more and more uh, videos of my adventures. I'm going biking, climbing, bouldering. Uh, all these things. So uh, I'll be posting a bunch more stuff shortly. Okay, cheers.